just in the process of reheating everything. So I've reheated the rice in the microwave. Are you hungry or starving, honey? Starving. Starving. Right. Just reheating the onion barges. So if I can get those out just for a minute. I think they might be done. Now I'm only going to be putting a, sort of a little handful of dippy chips in the centre. There we go, that's enough. That one looks nice though, and so does that one. <laughs> right, so let's start dishing up. I might need the other spoon actually. That one's got holes in it. <laughs> right, I did manage to clean the spoon up. Check that out, that's all reheated. Be lucky to, if this does even last till tomorrow actually. Right, there we go. Plenty of it. Right, let's get all the other little bits together. That's gotta be bunged in the microwave for a minute. Oh, can hardly reach that. <laughs> And there we go, meal fit for a king. Prata breads, all the dippies and all the extras. Don't they look lush? Good, beautiful morning. Yes, I'm back. I'm back, it's the next day, sorry. Yes, once again, I've got a load of washing and stuff to do. This is majority of what Dan had found and then some other bits and pieces. So I've got a load on already. That's going to need another cycle. Got the iron out to do some ironing. I just hope I don't fall down there. Place is looking a bit of a shambles. That's all the ironing. And I've also wrapped Cheryl's present, uh, present caravan this morning. So that's one job done. <laughs> so Cheryl, that should be on your way very soon, but it won't be until I get to a post office could be another week is yet right I'm gonna to to turn the heating off I'm now gonna plug in the iron and I haven't stopped all the morning been up nice and early I don't know what time it is now let me just check half eight I won't ask a l Alexa basically I won't ask her because I forgot every time that I'm talking to her all yours is going off forgot about that <laughs> Right, so I'm on my third bottle of iron water. I've got one more left, so I hope I can just get through this. i nearly done a whole, car eh, whole can of starch. Yeah, so it's nice and early. Did all my jobs, and now I've got to sort this lot out. Right. Let's get a couple of bits done. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen knew it oh right that's about to stop so i'm gonna put that on oh, it has stopped put that on another cycle just trying to get the whites done first while it's while the water's fresh you know um onion bargees last night dan loved the onion bargees last night so that was a big bonus he said that was the best part of the meal the bed the bargees and the dips <laughs> But he's got it again tonight. I've managed to fill up two more plates. Well, yeah, yeah, two more plates for tonight. So we can pick it that all he, he's content tonight. Yeah, I can't wait to just get this ironing done, get stuff in the suitcases. It is kind of getting cleared out, but it's not. Every time I clear something out, something else is arriving. <laughs> Bit of a nightmare. <laughs> Never mind. Some of these things don't even really need ironing. I'm just doing it to freshen them up. Oh, a bit tired this morning. So it is Easter weekend, it's Saturday. That's all I've got to do today is chores. Nothing that grandly exciting. And um, 
Yeah, I think Dan's got a few jobs of his own he's going to be doing this morning. So I have been buying quite a few clothes and bits and pieces for holiday, but I'm done now. If I haven't got it, I haven't got it. I've spent a fortune. <laughs> but it's always the case when it comes to holidays, isn't it? So that's done anyway. But at the moment, I have actually filled up practically two suitcases worth of my stuff, all freshly washed and ironed, you know? And that's not including this lot. <laughs> and um, don't get me wrong, it's all for the summer as well to get a lot of that freshened up for the summer. So I drastically need to go through it all and dwindle it basically. Oh, I forgot I'm not even using starch, am I? Oh, I wouldn't mind. I love that smell. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, at last minute, I've got to drastically go through it all. I'm just going to get it all washed and ironed, put into cases, and then at last minute, go through it, see what I really want to bring, see what fits me, what don't, <laughs> stuff like that. But as long as I can get it in the case, then it can get out of the way. Whereas Dan's case is packed with everything he wants, but he hasn't got everything. He hasn't, I keep, like yesterday we went to Tesco's, babe, do you want to get like your little travel size cosmetics, get your cosmetic bag put together? He was like, nope, nope, definitely not. Suit you then, sir. <laughs> I'd do it for him if I could, but I know he just he just doesn't want it done, so I'll leave it to him. Can't get involved. Yeah, so just on the first load of washing at the moment. Let me bring it down a little tad. I've even still got my pyjama bottoms on. I've only actually just put this jumper on. <laughs> I'm one of these, I'll do everything in the morning, but I'm in my I'm in my nightwear. <laughs> oh gosh. Getting a bit tired today. So luckily anyway, I haven't got to cook dinner today. So that takes the pressure off and that gives me my free kitchen. Because I couldn't do the ironing then in the end yesterday. The kitchen was just too chock a block. in mind so a lot of you have actually been telling me like some solutions of ironing for the holiday like this apparently there's some kind of a spray you bring your clothes you can just spray it on and um apparently sort of irons it I want to say maybe not iron but you know um what else have I been told I haven't been told about um tops you can buy from Madeline I think somebody said that they don't even need ironing <laughs> but um I don't mind the ironing it freshens up all the clothes as well doesn't it I don't actually mind the ironing so and I've done it now anyway so <laughs> Never mind. But it's a great tip for anyone that anyone that um, wants to know out there how to do their ironing a bit easier. One can down. <laughs> I never thought I'd even get through one of those. <sighs> got another one. Actually, got a, another one after this one as well. Oh, that's coming out better. So going back to this ironing stuff that you're recommending, maybe you're recommending it so I could bring, iron these now, bring that spray with me, so to say, and then anything that's a little bit creased, it should take it out. I don't know, I don't know. <sighs> you know what, I've been ironing this, ironing this and I've, I've realized there's a tiny little of a dirty mark, so that's gonna go into the wash. I'm nearly finished ironing it. I was just doing the little, tassels on it that's annoying <laughs> never mind <laughs> so 
So my dress has gone in. That's been rinsed. Let's put that on a spin. I know I go on and on and on about my washing machine, or I have done in the past, but it is seriously good. It really is. Don't know what I'd do without it, actually. Link in description if you're interested. <laughs> and my little tumble dryer. Right, I'm on my last two items now. Apart from the dress that's just gone into there, but that'll be a bit later on. So, crack on with this. Right, finished with the ironing so far. So, the only things now I've got to iron is the things that are being washed today. So, I've just unplugged that. So, that'll give me a little break for a minute, a few minutes. Got another load of washing on. So, I have the massive, massive suitcase for holiday, right? And this is actually the second one and I filled it up. I can't even shut it, look. Nightmare. So that one more dress is, that's it. Oh, apart from these pajamas I've got to go in as well. So what I'm gonna do, oh, if I can, I can't move in this house. It is driving me bonkers. So a pair of these, yeah, they're not um, lions, are they? I know they're not lions. Sometimes it's hard to think what you're saying, spare at the moment when you're filming, yeah? <laughs> I think they're tigers. I don't know. Right, so what I'm gonna do is get my hospital bag back out. Cause I've got to put two pairs of pajamas in there. So they need to go into my holiday case. They can go into there. Right, so I've just got a brand new vacuum bag. I'm gonna vacuum them and um, then they should stay fresh. There's nowhere to put you this morning because there's no room in here at all. Now I've got the sun in my eye. Let me just shut that. Oh, that's better. All right, so let's go back through this. Oh, and then I can put this away, you see. One job I want to do this week, maybe, is go through my wardrobe down there and um oh look at it it's a right mess did i really just put everything in like that and get out a majority of, like the big heavy wintery stuff even like big heavy wintery pajamas i've got and everything i'm just taking all this out and clear some room now for the next season clothes so i'll be hoping then i can actually fit me hospital bag in there right i did find some socks i bought these ones from next um uh, they were on the sale when me and dan went away for sort of a week or whatever it was i can't remember and i got them for like 20p each or something i can't remember what it was it was something stupid it really was so hopefully this is going to be a good idea <laughs> hopefully <laughs> I really, really could do with like a little cosmetic bag though. If I've got room in here once I vacuum it, I might see if I can find some kind of um, cosmetic bag for those. Right, here we go, so that's empty. Right, so we need to start with the towel. I love vacuum bags. It's only been quite recently I've been using these to save on storage and stuff, which is help handy if you live in a motorhome. And never really sort of bothered with them many years ago, so to say. Right, so one towel. Let's put that in nicely. Let's see if I can bring you down a tad. Right, so I do have some tumble dryer sheets. Two brand new tumble dryer sheets. So I put one in there. Um, are these folded good enough? Yeah, I suppose I'll be all right. Put that in there. Now I might even put my slippers in there, actually. I wonder if that's a thing. Can you do that? <laughs> Oh, 
I love these cute pyjamas. 17 quid from Matalan these ones were. The other set, you, you had to, I think it was, no, I can't, I can't remember, but they were on sale. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can squeeze those in as well. Oh no, I wanted another tumble dryer sheet just on top. Oh, washing machine stopped. <laughs> One more cycle on that. I've got a few dance bits in there now. Um, there we go. This is the hard bit, zipping these up. The one always says pull these, but I don't believe they really work. Maybe they do. Do they? Do they? It works. Oh, I have to go over it though. Some bits aren't. Well, that saved a big job. <laughs> right, so what I need to do now, though, is bring all that down to the tube. I think that'll be easier. How can I do that, though, without it getting in a mess? Oh, no. The slipper's gone if it wasn't. No, my slipper's gone everywhere. Bear with me. I've, I've managed it. Just get me hoover out. It don't actually look like it's made much of a difference. And now it's probably going to be an awkward shape. Hey honey. Hello. Tell everyone, did you enjoy your onion bargies last night? Yeah, absolutely wonderful. You got four to, for tonight. <laughs> and then tomorrow you're going to attempt for me spam what? bargies. Spam bargies. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to get that in there. What a stupid idea. <laughs> get in. I'm not messing about with this bag no more. Right. There, it's in. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot the underwear and the... Oh, I forgot the underwear and this. Me flannel. No, we're going to have to start again. No! <laughs> oh, Mazzy. <sighs> right. Yeah, I weren't happy with that. I had to put my underwear in. <laughs> That's all you need, isn't it? Fusty old knickers and socks and grass when it comes to using them.
go. I bet it's a bigger shape now, isn't it? I'm going to really struggle to get this in. Anyway, let's give it a go. <laughs> if you're going to do something, do it properly, innit? <laughs> Even if it means you've got to do it twice. <laughs> it's heavy. And it's an awkward shape. Get in. Get in, I've had enough of it now. <laughs> Here we go. Right, so I think for the cosmetics, what I'm going to do is put them into some zip locks actually, so at least they don't leak and stuff like that. And then that's one more item that's done, completed out the way. Right, so they can just go in singly like that that's fine well, I do have a spare zip lock there or did I just get that out I don't even know what I'm doing anymore right so we'll put a little bit of makeup in one oh forgot the socks I have forgot the socks. <laughs> no way. Yes, I ain't leaving it. <sighs> Third time lucky. <laughs> oh, for the love of God, Mazzy. There we go. Right. Oh no, I can't lock it up now because I pulled that off. Well, can you put them on easily? I don't know if you can. Okay, that went on easy. Right, last time. I'm not doing it again if I, if I find something else. Right, get in there, because I'm getting fed up with you. Oh, it's wearing me out. Job done. <laughs> what a plonker. Right, put them back in. Now, right, now where was I up to? Right, I've been sort of makeup y bits, weren't I? Right, so that can go in this one. Um, that can go in this one. The little chapstick, lip, lip balm. Now that it's in a bag, I don't mind taking it out of the box. Right. So that's that, that can go in there. Believe it or not, I'm still struggling with space. <laughs> but I have added two more pyjamas now, haven't I? Right. Tea bags, cotton buds, they all can go in separate. Right, let's get a bigger bag. Oh, a makeup sponge going off the edge. Alright, is that it? Is that it, Mazzy? Right, 
Right, they can go back in. Get a big sip lock for the leftover easy bits. Shampoo, conditioner, a bit of. I put a body spray in now as well. Always nice to smell nice, isn't it? Nothing worse than laying in a hospital bed and you stink. <laughs> right, all sort of like the cosmetic -y bits are going in there. Toothbrush, got me tooth uh, toothbrush as well, so that's that's handy. Oh, I hope I don't have to cut that out the bag, do I? No. Right, so let's get all that in there. That's cosmetic -y stuff. I'll be able to get it to hospital, but I won't be able to get it home. I'd need a massive suitcase to get this home. <laughs> right, last but not least, I think I've just a small bag for this. Now, where's the other lead? I bought the USB lead, didn't I? Where did that go then? Did I put it on the chair? Oh, I put it on the chair. So I've got the USB one to go with the plug. And I've got the C to C in case I have a um, sort of battery pack and a brand new pair of headphones in there as well. So this is all my electronics. So it's packed a bit better now. go and just last but not least the actual strap can't get it in <laughs> oh good heavens gosh can I even shut this up Can I even shut this? There's space down here, but I can't seem to shift anything over to there. I don't really know why. Oh, I was getting on my nerves now. Half an hour. Not really, but it did take me ages. So that's locked. That's all done. Yes, I can put that away. That's proper packed, proper packed. So when I get the um, wardrobes emptied now, I can make room for that. Right, how's me wash? Right, me washing's just literally stopped. What a coincidence. No one wants me to sit down today. So I've got a couple of minutes, a couple of Dan's tops are dried now. So I'll get these ironed up. I'm just gonna see if they're good enough. Well, that one is taken on holiday, but I'm gonna see. I'll put this in his holiday pile. You never know with him. Right, I've got, got about three minutes. Quickly do a bit of ironing. Oh, full whack. Come on, Mazzy. Mm. Somebody asked me today, they're looking for a new, uh, to get in an iron. And do I recommend this? Absolutely. Yeah, I love it. I don't know what brand or make it is. Well, it's a Breville. I've got a funny feeling. This is some kind, it's got a precision tip, diamond ceramic. I don't know, I had a feeling that might have been like some kind of, oh, no, that's no good. No. <laughs> Well, I've got to iron it anyway. <laughs> yeah, like a limited, like a birthday edition or something. That's what I thought it was. I bought it um, for the van when I got the van. So I bought that. 
wasn't a cheap one back in them days, but saying that, if, they probably are now, I don't know. But yeah, good iron. Don't get me wrong, I've had some rubbishy ones. But I wouldn't say I've had some rubbishy ones, but I've tried some rubbishy ones before. Used to do a lot of ironing for people. <laughs> right. Got 30 seconds. And then I've got to put some washing out there. One thing after another, isn't it? I enjoy my job. I enjoy being housewife, so to say. So, gives me something to do. Rather than just sitting there for the day. Right, that's stopped. But I'm gonna just do the back of this now and then as I've started and I've nearly finished. <laughs> Could have sworn that sounded better when that first came out. Sounds like it's lost its gas or something. Yeah, the reason I said about this, keeping this for holiday, because I've got a feeling he needs to get one of these or maybe a short sleeve one. Right, got Dan's load on the washing line. I'm just gonna wind this shirt up, his t-shirt. He was a kindly given this actually by somebody with some others. So, and then I'll have to wrap this one up. It looks like it's going on and on and on, doesn't it? Looks like a long one again today. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the long one yesterday. Well, a lot of you did, so thank you very much for actually taking the time out of your day to watch it. <laughs> it wasn't the shortest, it was nearly an hour long. Making homemade onion barges and curry. If you haven't seen it, because I didn't actually get a lot of views on that one, I weren't sure if it was because it was just too long or whether it was because it was um, Easter Friday, I'm not sure. But yeah, pop over and watch that one. It was a good one. Now all was worth of Mazzy. How about that? <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen Dan in one of these kind of um, polo shirts before. Gonna go. Yeah, get them a few bits washed and dried. I'm down to the last, well I say last, it's still gonna take me quite some time. <laughs> and then um put Dan's few bits in his case or wardrobe wherever they're going. And then hopefully, come tomorrow, should have quite a clear fan, theory. Why has he done this button up on this? There we go. I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is come tomorrow, I'm done with all clothes. <laughs> I'm sick of clothes. Sick to death of them. Right, how am I going to iron that? I can do it like that, I suppose. Mm.
There we go, right. So I'm going to love you and leave you and see you tomorrow. So take care. Love y'all. Bye. And if I sound worn out, it's because I'm worn out. I haven't sat down yet. <laughs>